वेलकम टू नरेश शेटी माय नेम इज सतीश इन टुडे सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट जैक्स पी ए पी आर जैक्स पी स्टैंड फॉर वाट जावा ए पी आई फॉर एक्स एम एल प्रोसेसिंग जैक्स पी स्टैंड फॉर जावा ए पी आई फॉर एक्स एम एल प्रोसेसिंग वाट इज अज ऑफ दिस ए पी आई एक्चुअली फॉर एग्जाम्पल वन एक्स एम एल डॉक्यूमेंट इज देर इयर आई हव ए जावा प्रोग्राम सो वाट इज मई रिक्वयरमेंट इज ई वॉन्ट टू रीड दिस एक्स एम एल डॉक्यूमेंट डेटा इन टू दिस जावा प्रोग्राम वैल रीडिंग ई वॉन्ट टू वैलिडेट द एक्स एम एल एलिमेंट्स द एक्स एम एल एलिमेंट सिंग टैक्स द एक्स एम एल इज वैलिड और नॉट ई वॉन्ट टू चेक सो इयर द रिक्वयरमेंट इज रीड द एक्स एम एल वैलिडेट द एक्स एम एल and xml document data directly not understanding by jvm jvm is only understanding object oriented data jvm not understanding xml format data so here what is required read validate and uh, parse that xml document parsing means converting convert the xml document data into object oriented format so when xml is there i want to read that xml document and i want to validate then i want to convert into object format okay that operations i want to perform through a java program okay so here in this java program to read the xml to validate the xml and to parse the xml document it is required to be use one software that software is called as parser software in that java program one parser software is required so what is actually parser here what is parser simply you can say parser is a software or it is an object it is an object the parser software is used to read validate and parse the xml documents so for this requirement in this java program what is required to be create parser object is required to be create the parser software or the parser object is used to read validate and parse that respect to xml document but in this java program to create one parser software to create that parser software okay it is required to be work with which one is jacks p api it is required to work with jacks p api so the jacks p api provides some libraries the jacks p api provides some classes and interfaces those are used to create the parser software so jaxp api provides the classes and interfaces to create parser software in a java program that parser software is used to read validate and parse the xml documents so when we are working with a java program in the java program to create the parser software it is required to be work with what jacks p api so because of that reason simply you can say jacks p api is used to read the xml documents or you can say process the xml documents read or process the xml documents jacks p api provides classes and interfaces provide some classes and interfaces to create parser softwares to create parser softwares in a java application jaxp api provides the classes and interfaces to create a parser software in a java application just now we discussed the point the parser software is used to 
read, comma, validate and parse the XML documents. Okay, so main target of JAXP API is what? Just it is used to create the parser software in the program. With the help of that parser, we are processing the XML documents. JAXP API provides three types of parsers. Means JAXP API provides the support to work with the three types of parsers. Three parsers. What are that is? DOM parser, DOM parser, DOM stands for document object model, DOM stands for document object model. The second parser is SAX parser, SAX stands for simple API for XML simple API for XML. Okay, one more parser is Stacks parser. Stacks parser. Stacks stands for streaming API for XML. So, JAXP API provides the libraries to create DOM parser in the Java program, to create Stacks parser in the Java program and to create stacks parser in the Java program. As further requirement create any one of the parser and process the XML documents. Okay, this is the main aim of JAXP, but what are the versions are there in JAXP API? Okay, now understand about the versions of JAXP API. The current version of JAXP API is 1.6 version. The current version of JAXP API is 1.6 version. The JAXP 1.6 version is coming along with the JDK 1.8 version, means JDK 8 version. JAXP API current version is 1.6, that is coming along with which one? JDK 8. So, next observe actually JAXP, the first version. JAXP first version is JAXP 1.1. JAXP 1.1 version is given along with the JDK 1.4 version. So, JAXP API is added in Java in 1.4 version. Okay. JAXP 1.3 version is included in JDK 5. JAXP 1.4 version is included in JDK 6. JAXP 1.5 is included in JDK 7, JAXP 1.6 is included in 1.8 version. So, here the current version of JAXP API is JAXP 1.6, it is coming along with along with JDK 8. The first version of JAXP API is given in JDK 1.4 version. So, JAXP API is given actually along with JDK 1.4 version. Uh, another important point it is API. API contains just what? An abstract classes and interfaces only. For that API abstract classes and interfaces, number of vendors are provided the implementations. So, for JAXP API, the number of vendors are provided the implementations. What are the implementations are there for JAXP API observe? Here, these many number of implementations are there for JAXP API. It is a API just it contains some abstract classes and interfaces only. Those are implemented by multiple vendors, multiple vendors like IBM vendor and Apache vendors like this. So, multiple number of vendors are there. And another important point is, when we are working with JAXP API, it is not required to be add any external jar also. Why means? From JDK 5 version onwards, 
this implementation by default coming along with the java software only so from java 5 onwards this implementation by default coming with which one the java software only so if you want to use this default implementation okay not required to be include any other special jar also to work with which one jacks p api in the program okay so multiple number of vendors are there for jacks p api and this implementation by default coming with the jdk 5 version only just now we discussed it. jacks p first version is given in jdk 4 okay this is a jacks p api versions and uh, jacks p is supporting to work with how many types of parsers here three parsers one is a dom another one is a sax and another one is a stacks so jacks p api main target is what it is used to read the xml documents with the help of parsers or simply can say it is used to process the xml documents with the help of what parser softwares okay now i am going to be introducing about the first parser the first parser is dom okay dom stands for document object model dom stands for document object model just now we discussed one point parser is a software used to read validate parse the xml documents that means to process the xml documents through a java program okay we are working with the jacks p provided parsers okay one of the parser is what your dom parser okay now observe the dom parser the dom parser is a tree based or tree structured based parser dom is a tree structured based parser what is actually a tree structured based parser suppose here one xml document is there here one xml document is there to process this xml document for example if you are using here if you are using dom parser the dom parser will construct a tree based structure to represent which one the xml elements to represent the xml elements as well as xml attributes so this is also called as a dom tree so like uh, the dom parser is uh, representing all the xml elements so dom is a tree structured based parser whenever a xml document you are processing with dom parser to represent the complete xml document data okay dom is choosing which one tree based structure in this tree based structure here this is called as one node it is one node dom parser is a constructing a tree structured based format to represent the xml elements in this tree structured based format okay here all these are called as what nodes to represent one element data one node is creating to represent one attribute data also one node is creating so collection of nodes are available in a tree structured manner even to represent element one node is creating to represent the attribute also node is creating here so like this because of this reason dom is called as what tree structured based parser the another important point is dom parser will read the entire xml document entire xml document at a time and uh, consuming consuming more memory more memory to represent the xml elements to represent the xml elements and attributes in object oriented manner dom parser will read the entire xml document at a time and consuming the more memory to represent the xml elements and attributes in object oriented manner means it is constructing one tree structured manner that is object oriented representation only the important point is 
dam parser will support to perform read and write operations means by using dom parser it is possible to perform read operations on xml document as well as it is possible to perform the write operations on xml documents okay next the dom parser supports support sequential sequential access and uh, random access means by using dom parser it is possible to read the xml elements in a sequential manner as well as it is possible to read in the random manner so the main important points of dom is what dom is supporting read and write operations dom is supporting sequential and uh, random access dom is a uh, reading entire xml document at a time and consuming the more memory dom parser is a tree structured based parser because to represent each and every xml element and attribute it is constructing the nodes and all the nodes it is arranging in a tree structured manner okay dom parser performance is slow compared to compared to sax parser performance point of view it is a little bit slow compared to sax parser okay so this is the introduction of which one dom parser how to work with uh, dom parser steps to work with dom parser so in the next session i will discuss the steps to work with which one dom parser that means by using the dom parser how to process the xml document that i will discuss in the next session thank you for watching mm -hmm.